Hi YouTubers, this is JR's Diecast Cars back with another video. Um, tonight is going to be some Redline Club stuff. These are um, membership cars, club exclusives, and they are the Boss Hoss Mustang. This is uh, one of 5,000. And uh, these things are pretty sweet. I mean, I do like them. It's six to eight on the side, red line club on the roof of it. Detailed in the rear end. Nice pieces. Real nice. There's a red one. Next one up will be the blue, and it's uh, one of 6,000. I mean, sometimes I wish I was still in the club, but uh, it just it got real crazy back when that gasser came out. It just kind of discouraged me from being in the club anymore. So, I mean, it, joining that club did get me to two conventions in my life. Which I did enjoy those. Alright. Let's set the red one off over here. Here's the blue one. <coughs> Detailed just like the red. It's all these collars are really nice, man. I love the shininess on them. Yeah, I, you could almost see yourself. Which had to be scary. See me in that. Alright, there's the blue one. But, uh... And then the next one is, uh... Oops, sorry guys. The next one will be um, the purple. Let's see. I had to write on the back of the card what color the car was, so I know. Of course, the packaging tells you. Duh! Okay, here's the purple. A purple shark. Uh, HotWheelsCollectors.com but on the back fender there. I love the red line wheels on it. <coughs> the neon classic wheels. Um, I like when they do that. Now, I love the rubber tires too, but some castings, those look good too. And that's one of them. Okay, that's it on the club exclusive cars. I got more that I've already opened. I probably won't get into them. Um... I mean, I do have a VW drag bus, which I don't remember what year it come out. But like I said, I'm a big VW collector. One of these days, I might show them. But anyhow, there's that one. All right, the next piece I'm bringing up <coughs> is uh, some Mighty Maverick Real Riders. It is... It's the Custom Car Show in Japan, 2006, it looks like. And it's uh, one of 2,000. And here it is. This car here is really, really nice. It's got a plastic base, I think. Yeah, I believe so, which I, I really don't care. Heck, the paint job and just, <laughs> who cares about the base? There's a front end. It does raise. I don't want to force it. This car here is beautiful, though. I love the paint job on it. It's got a plastic wing on it. Detailed out in the rear end. It's got, uh, there's... With rubber tires on it. There's that casting there. I'm going to let that thing spin around for a couple seconds. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be opening up uh, a couple other Redline Club cars. These are uh, from the, when you go to the conventions, 
It's a red line party cards of what they are. Um, I don't know what they're limited to. I don't really care. But uh, the first one out of the package will be the Chevy Camaro. I'm going to set this bad boy right here. Here's this. And these things are detailed out. They're all pink. This is a heavy Chevy model. I believe it is. Yep, the heavy Chevy. This thing is a beautiful casting. I got this in a trade from a buddy of mine years ago. A couple years or so. I said I thought I'd never open this stuff, but hey. Enjoy why while it's while you're still alive out of the package. I like them out of the package, like I said. Next one is uh, this convention that I did go to. This is uh, the Backwards Bomb. And it is from Collectors Nationals, I believe 2013 in uh, Indianapolis. This casting here is pretty sweet too. Find my knife here. This one off, sit it right there. Here's the backwards bomb. Detailed all the way around. I think it's pretty cool looking. Plastic base, that's all right. It's got those neon classic wheels on it, which I do like. Um, Next one is is from Chicago. It is eighth annual Collectors National, and it is the Sand Crab. This casting is pretty cool. I don't have a lot of them, but I do like them. Here it is. Here. Headlights. It's pretty cool. Light. It's real light. It's a metal base. So we're going to set this one off. There's the sand crab. <coughs> Next one is the 70 Dodge Power Wagon from. I cannot see it. California. I picked this thing up at one of our shows in Indianapolis at our one of our meetings. Um, I paid more than what I probably should have for this truck. I got fifty bucks in it, but it's uh, I sold a bunch of stuff to get the money. But uh, here, this thing it, it'll go good with my other ones. But there it is. This thing is bad. Red line club right on the tailgate. This thing is a beautiful casting. I mean beautiful. The lights up there. Yeah. Headlights are painted. All of it is. This thing is heavy too, man. Really heavy. We'll let this thing spin for a couple minutes. I've got a couple more of those. I'm going to get down real quick. I'll be right back. These next two are from the Garage Series. I don't know if I've showed them to you or not. We're going to leave the pink one right there. Here's an orange and black. There's one missing that I don't have. One of these, I think it, I can't remember the color. But I'm hoping one of these days I'll find it. 
It's got Dodge written on the tailgate or on the rear end of it. On the bed of the truck. There's tailgate. Once again, it's heavy. These are really, really nice castings. I'm going to set this one right there. Okay, the next one is a, a light green. And then again, it's it's nice. It's got Dodge right there. Tail lights are painted. Dodge right there on the tailgate. These things are pretty bad. I love them. I was lucky enough. One of these come in a in one of the sets, thirty car sets, I believe, or twenty something. They come in a set. Another one I found on in the store on a blister. But I've only found these are the only two in them I got. I never did find any more after that. I was lucky enough to get them. But uh, we're going to take this one here off. Which man, that that is a beautiful casting. <coughs> but we're going to set the green one up here with the orange on it. But uh, I was very happy to get those right here. I mean, I'd love to get more, but uh, I am. Really happy that I opened up my stuff now. I enjoy it open. <clears throat> I mean, I did used to be a carded collector, but uh, I stopped that a while back. Um, like I said before, some of my packaging got ruined, and because uh, the way I had to store it wasn't the proper way to do it, but you do what you do. Um, and I don't regret opening my stuff, I enjoy it a lot more out. Of the package and in the package um evidently it must be because some of these things are worth a few dollars but i mean you know like i said before when you're dead and gone it's not going to matter um hopefully whoever gets them will enjoy them you know i, I don't know what i'm going to do with my collection when that day comes um we'll we'll see won't we i guess <laughs> but uh Guys, we're 12 minutes into this. I'm going to stop, and uh, I'm going to put these down here where we can kind of look at some of them. I'm going to line some things up. I'm going to leave the Maverick up here on the turntable. to put these out here, and we might do one more shot with them. Um, like I said, I, I really enjoy this hobby. Um, soon I'll be hitting 100 subscribers. I believe I'm at 96, but that's a lot more than I ever thought I would get. Um, I'm happy with that, you know, and uh, I just, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy making the videos. I enjoy watching everybody's videos. And, uh, I mean, it's just a hobby's a lot of fun. Here's an overlook of the cars I opened up tonight. Man, you gotta love those Dodges. Oh, wow. And of course, the Maverick. So, um, I think soon I may do an overview of some of my collection. Do a real nice, slow walkthrough. And uh, some of you guys to see it. I'm sure some of you, of you have, but I like to do an update on it. Straighten up my room a little bit, though. It's kind of messy from moving stuff around, opening up stuff. All right, guys, look, you uh, keep up the hunt. I uh, hope you guys find what you're looking for. And um, once again, thanks for everybody who has uh, subscribed to me. And um, I mean, I really do enjoy doing this. <coughs> and uh, it's, just, it's just a lot of fun. I do want to say something to auto-driven uh, 164 sir I'm glad that I made your son's day um, God has blessed me in so many ways and uh, he's even blessed me with my my hobby you know because with, to me without him we wouldn't have anything anyways and uh, I have been blessed and I like to to send it down I mean I know they're only Hot Wheels or whatever die cast but to me a it's just something I like to do, and I, 
if I can make somebody's day, that's that's what I enjoy. I mean, and I I do enjoy making people happy in this hobby and even out of the hobby. So, all right, guys, look, this is enough of the rambling. Uh, God bless you, and you all have a good night. See you in the next one.